Remnant from the Ashes. When I bought this game a few days before its release, I didn't expect I would play 34 hours in 3 days, of which I spent several hours cleaning the swamps of Vietnam to the tune of Fortunate Son for no other reason than distributing fiery freedom among these bog dwellers. Remnant is a game that is odd yet charming, a combination of Dark Souls, Borderlands, and the roguelike genre. It has a Dark Souls-like equipment and crafting system, a trait system similar to the stat system, role intensive combat, alternate ways to kill bosses for different weapons, and enemies that will aid you in shedding the mortal coil faster than the Hong Kong police. Remnant also has a weapon mod system that resembles Borderlands character's ultimates. You want to be Roland? Put down two turrets. You want to be Mordecai? Too bad, but here's the skull of Mr. Mackey. Some other weapon mods include Grenade Launcher, Freedom Inducing Napalm, Botany Class, Becoming Jesus and Rising from the Dead, and many more. Roguelike makes its entrance with randomized boss encounters and levels as well as adding modifiers like additional health to bosses so each one is different, and you will likely have to reset your campaign six times to get that one assault rifle you wanted from Earth. There are four worlds that exist in Revenants. Earth, which looks a lot like that one game you saw years ago, Tatooine, the swamps of Vietnam, and the Amazon rainforest from 2018. Each world has bosses and dungeons you can encounter, some of which change between a couple different options, while others are mandatory. The randomization of bosses and dungeons makes it so that you can have a different playthrough every time. I've beaten the game several times, including on hard, and have yet to fight several of the bosses once, let alone twice, to get both weapons you can get from some bosses. The fact that you can play co-op more like a traditional shooter game also adds replayability like when you want your friend to experience the suffering that you felt as you watched their dreams get crushed over and over so you can feel a little bit better about yourself for getting through hard mode. Even if you died 30 times to that one archer hiding in a bush you could never find. Uh, what? Once you finally beat normal difficulty, the game has just begun. You still have many weapons to collect from different bosses as well as different difficulties. You have hard mode where enemies deal more damage to the point where anything can kill you almost instantaneously. And Nightmare where not only can they one shot you, they also take an ungodly amount of ammunition to kill. What's even better is only the experience goes up with difficulty, so playing on Nightmare is purely for people that have a fetish for self harm. To sum things up, Rum is like a spicy burrito. It has a bunch of ingredients wrapped together that taste amazing together. However, your asshole will still be bleeding while that burrito is done with you. This is my first time ever doing a review for a game. Even though this is one that is very small and very bite-sized, I feel it gets the point across in the general feeling of the game. If this is something that you do enjoy watching and would like to see more of these videos in the future, leave a like so that I know that these types of videos are things that you all do enjoy watching.